What's going on, football fans? It's the start of a brand new season, and that means we got Week 1 action for you today as UTSA Roadrunners take on the New Mexico Lobos from the University Stadium in Albuquerque. First and ten for UTSA, and the Roadrunners come out in a twin tight end set. Two wide right receivers split out to the left. Hand off to David Glasgow, he breaks outside and gets tackled for a gain of two. Third and eight for UTSA, Carter takes the snap, he drops back, surveys the field, finds a man over the middle, it's Aaron Grubb, takes a huge hit but holds onto the football, 15 yards in the UTSA first down. Great hands too by the junior receiver, takes a huge hit after the catch but he pulls it in, keeps the drive alive. First and ten, UTSA coming out in a two halfback look. New Mexico split to the left. Carter makes an adjustment at the line. Hand off to Glasgow at the middle. And a solid gain, still going. 18 yards for David Glasgow and the UTSA first down. And this new coaching staff is hoping for plenty of runs like that throughout the year. Second and inches now for the UTSA runner, same look. And handoff to Glasgow. No, it's play action. Carter fires and misses just out in front of Jarvie and Williams. Third and inches now, and UTSA looks to play some power football coming out of the jumbo set. Handoff to Glasgow. Finds the gap up the middle. And first down. Six yard gain. Second and ten. UTSA out in the twin tight end set. Carter surveying the defense. Hand off to Glasgow. No, it's a quarterback keeper. On the option, up the middle, shakes a tackle, and first down, 13-yard gain for the quarterback, Tucker Carter. First and goal for UTSA. They come out in that same twin halfback look. QB Carter surveys the field. Carter takes a snap. Hand off to Glasgow. No, he pulls it down. It's play action. Fires with the middle. Touchdown, UTSA. An 8-yard touchdown completion of the tight end David Morgan, it doesn't get much easier than that. Run, 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 and then fire to the big man in the goal line. After some poorly thrown balls, UTSA's 3rd and 10, trip shotgun, Carter takes a snap, dropping back, surveying, can't find anybody, and sacked for a 9-yard loss. Surprising that wasn't a safety, though. UTSA gets lucky on that one. First and ten UTSA ball out in that twin halfback look. Carter makes an adjustment at the line, sees that pressure on the overload left side. Snap. Carter fires behind Morgan and makes a great catch though to save that one from interception. Third and one for UTSA. They come out in the twin tight end look. David Glasgow in the backfield. Looking to get this one yard gain. Carter takes a snap, handoff to Glasgow, he goes to the left side, but brought down short of the yard to gain, and UTSA will have to punt. New drive for UTSA, first and ten coming out in the twin tight end look. David Glasgow in the backfield. Carter makes an adjustment to the line, takes the snap, surveying the field, fires up the seam to David Morgan, catch made! 30 yard reception for the tight end, and that'll be a UTSA first down. At least here in the early going, Carter is showing no fear to fit this ball into tight windows. You see the coverage was very close to Morgan on that catch. Second and four for UTSA coming out in the pistol spread look. Three wide receivers. Carter takes the snap, handoff to Glasgow up the middle. Sheds a tackle and first down to an eight yard gain. Don't drop her young man. Second and five for UTSA coming out in three wide formation. Carter is making an adjustment at the line. Makes a second adjustment. Surveying the field, takes the snap, looking for a man. He finds one over the seam, it's David Morgan the tight end, and that's his fourth catch on the day. 14 yards and a UTSA first. First and 10 for UTSA, seeming intent to stay in that three wide formation. Carter surveys the field. Now he takes a snap, drops back, looks for a man, finds Aaron Grubb in the middle, he's sprinting for the goal line, touchdown UTSA! 
20-yard catch and run for the junior receiver Aaron Grubb, and UTSA will get up on the board two scores coming close to halftime. Not the greatest pass here from Tucker Carter, but it'll get the job done. Seven points is seven points. 3.30 to go before halftime, and UTSA is driving, looking for more points. Three wide receivers. Carter takes the snap, surveys the field, finds Jones underneath of the middle, makes a slick move on the defender, and first down. First catch on the day for a champ. First and ten, UTSA staying with that three wide receiver look. All three stacked to the right. Carter takes the snap, surveying. It's the bubble to Jones this time. Makes a man miss, shakes a second tackle, and gets close to the first down line. After the timeout, minutes ago before halftime, second and nine, UTSA staying with that three wide receiver look. Carter takes the snap, hand off to Glasgow. No, it's play action, and he is sacked on the play, and the right tackle got absolutely destroyed in that protection. Taking a look at the replay, you'll see that Hightower actually fights through two blockers to make this tackle. Nice play. Third and 15 after the sack for UTSA. They come out in a trips look. Play action to Glasgow. Carter drops back, looking for a man. Finds Marcellus Mack, but he is dragged down short of the first down line, and they will kick the field goal. After the break, it's UTSA ball. First and ten, they come out in the jumbo look. Williams in the backfield, and the handoff is to Williams. He splits out to the left side, trying to get to the edge, and he'll drag down short of the first down line. No, he'll give it to him. First down, UTSA. Third and two for UTSA. Glasgow checks back into the game. Ace twins look. Carter surveying the field. Takes the snap. Handoff to Glasgow. No, it's play action. Finds a man. It's Cam Jones over the middle. He makes a smooth catch for 17 yards, and the UTSA first down. Gutsy play calling from first year coordinator Les Arbel going for the play action when only needing two yards, but I guess that's why they brought him to UTSA. Or maybe they just don't have much respect for this opponent. Who knows? Second and five for UTSA. Back out in that offset twin halfback look. New Mexico overloads the left side. Carter makes an adjustment. Takes a snap. I think we know where this ball's going. He goes to Morgan. Catch made. First down, UTSA. Second and seven, UTSA coming out on the three wide look. Glasgow in the backfield. Man in motion is Grubb. He takes the snap. It's a jet sweep to Grubb. He splits up the middle and after the first down, dragged down after a gain of 10 yards. First and 10, UTSA coming out on the same three wide look. Glasgow in the backfield. Grubb in motion again. Jet sweep. No, it's a play action play. Carter drops back, tries to fit at the tight end, but it's picked off by the safety Saquon Edwards. He's past the 15 to the 20 and brought down at the 21 yard line. And that was just a poor decision by Carter to throw that ball as Edwards was camping that corner route all the way. Great play by the defense. First and 10 UTSA ball. Three wide receivers, Glasgow in the backfield. Carter takes a snap, handoff to Glasgow, he goes up the middle, shakes one tackle, stiff arms a second, shakes a third, and brought down by the fourth man after a gain of 17 yards and the UTSA first down. Already 15 carries in the day for the senior halfback, and he's making the most of them. Hasn't gotten to the end zone yet, though, but I'm sure they'll find a way to do that. Second and inches now for UTSA, coming out in three wide, Glasgow in the backfield. Carter takes a snap, hand off to Glasgow, no, it's play action, he'll drop back, and he fires behind Cam Jones, and that could have gone for six. Third and inches for UTSA, coming out with the three wide look again, Glasgow in the backfield, Carter takes a snap, hand off to Glasgow, he's got nobody around him, he's up the middle, he's trying to break for the end zone, but brought down at just behind the 10 yard line. And it'll be first and 10 of the 12 for UTSA as David Glasgow sets a school record with his rushing performance today. 119 yards, and we still got another quarter to play, folks. After some errant throws, it's third and 10 UTSA from the 14 yard line. UTSA comes out in shotgun. It's play action to Glasgow. He's under pressure. Shakes one tackle, but can't break the second, and he's sacked down at the 20-yard line, and UTSA will have to settle for three on this drive. You'll see from the replay that the O-line gives Carter absolutely no time to look downfield. Great play with the defense. Second and seven for UTSA. They come out in the jumbo look. Williams in the backfield. 
Carter takes a snap, handoff to Williams, he goes with the middle, shakes one, shows off the power with the stiff arm, and gets a gain of 11 yards and a UTSA first down. First and 10, UTSA sticking with that jumbo look, three tight ends, Williams still in the backfield. Carter takes a snap, hand off to Williams, no, it's play action, he's looking outside, finds Jones on the curl route for 14 yards in the UTSA first down. Well placed ball. Second and nine for UTSA, they come out in three wide, Glasgow checks back in. Carter takes a snap, low snap, fires outside, but that one's picked off by Boatwright, one hell of a play on that ball. You'll see from the replay here, Boatwright actually checks off of his man, but then fades back and makes a great grab. That'll be UTSA's second turnover on the day. He's happy about that one. After the turnover, it'll be UTSA ball. First and ten. Two tight ends split out to the left. Glasgow in the backfield. Carter takes a snap. Hand off to Glasgow. He'll shed one tackle. Go to the middle. No, he's brought down behind the line for a loss of three yards. What happened there, David? Did he untie your shoes when he was down there? After the loss, it's 2nd and 13, UTSA. Twin tight end look, Jones on the left. Glasgow in the backfield. Man in motion is the tight end, Hubble. Now he's set, Carter takes the handoff, fake to Glasgow, fires to Morgan on the outside, and he climbs the ladder and makes a great catch, making up that lost yardage. And it'll be 3rd and 3 for UTSA. Never in doubt, just throw it to the big man, I guess. He'll go get it. Third and three, UTSA coming out back in the jumbo set. Glasgow the backfield. Snap to Carter, hand off to Glasgow. No, it's a keeper. Carter goes to the middle, sheds one tackle, gets a stiff arm, and tackled forward for a gain of 13 yards and a UTSA first down. First and ten, UTSA, seeming intent to stick with the power run, comes in the jumbo. Williams takes the handoff, gets a good block, breaking up the right side, shakes one tackle, but brought down by the ankles at the New Mexico 21-yard line. Great running on the day for both these backs, showing off the mix of the one-two punch speed and power. Second one for UTSA, sticking with Jumbo, Williams in the backfield. Stevens the man in motion. Now he gets set. Carter takes the snap, hand off to Williams, he goes to the left side, and oh my goodness, he just leveled that man with that stiff arm. And Williams is down on the play. No serious injury for Williams on the play, he'll come back in later, for now. Glasgow checks in, twin tight end look. Carter makes an adjustment at the line. Carter takes a snap, drops back, finds a man open, it's Mac on the left side, and that'll be a touchdown UTSA. Shifty, shifty move for the senior wide receiver Marcellus Mack as he loses his man behind him with the post corner route, breaking over the middle and getting in there. Great run, great pass. Great play. After a quick touchdown and a failed onside kick, UTC has the ball on the 37-yard line. Carter takes the snap, handoff to Glasgow, he's up the left side. And he can't be tackled short of the first down line, and this running attack will continue for UTSA as they seem content to just keep running the ball and drain the clock. New Mexico out of timeouts now. In the jumbo formation. Carter takes the snap, handoff to Williams this time. He gets a cutback left side, now back in right, and after an eight yard gain, that's a UTSA first down. UTSA not content to kneel the ball down. They want to get this thing in the end zone one more time. Carter takes the snap, it's handoff to Glasgow. He's up the middle and brought down just short of the goal line. Come on, ref, skip him to him. UTSA, after using the timeout, wants to reward their big halfback for a great day running. Carter takes a snap, it's a handoff to Glasgow, power running up the middle, and he gets the goal line for the touchdown. Doesn't mean much on the scoreboard, but it sure means a lot to the fans and this halfback to get finally breaking the end zone after an impressive day running. And that'll be the game, folks, as UTSA will win this one big time. Your player of the game, David Glasgow, 25 carries, 144 yards on that garbage time touchdown. Total team victory today as UTSA will win this game in impressive fashion. Your final score, UTSA 31, New Mexico 10. And now we'll show you some highlights and player stats of the game. 
Not a bad day throwing the ball for senior quarterback Tucker Carter. 17-28, to three touchdowns with those two interceptions have to get cleaned up. On the ground, you already saw a player of the game, David Glasgow, 25 carries, 144 yards, and one touchdown. But how about the day from the scat back, Jarvion Williams? 10 carries, 77 yards, and 7 to 8 yards a play. In the receiving game, your tight end, David Morgan, led the way, 83 yards and one touchdown on seven receptions. And on the defensive side of the ball, a good team performance and one interception on the day for cornerback Bennett Okacha. So, We'll see you next time for more UTSA football. See you later, folks.